the use of music and song in divine worship is a very ancient and deeply rooted custom. The classical pagan philosophers did not ignore music. Plato in ancient Greece wrote that gracelessness in music and evil rhythm and disharmony are akin to evil speaking and the evil temper. But the opposites are the symbols and the kin of the sober and the good dispositions. We also read, music begets sobriety in souls. Aristotle adds, music has the power of producing a certain effect on the moral character of the soul. The young people must be directed toward music and must be educated in it. The early Christian fathers of the church also speak to us about music. For Clement of Alexandria, music was a reflection of the divine. And he called Jesus Christ the new song. I remember being moved by that same metaphor when I translated that popular French hymn to Jesus, Jésus, je voudrais te chanter sur ma route. Literally, Jesus, I would like to sing you on my journey. And uh, my translation ran like this. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song as I journey. I'll tell everybody about you wherever I go. For our life and our peace and our love is yourself. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song as I journey. St. Basil, by the way, I, uh, <laughs> thank you. I, 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 one of the big mistakes that I made in my life, Mel Gilbertson, are you listening, um, was um, not to um, uh, collect a, a royalty every time uh, somebody wanted to use that hymn. I've given out free permissions for that hymn. I, I, don't, I, have no, I have no recollection of the number of times. It's very popular. Uh, I think especially in Canada because uh, Jean Vanier, the, uh, the founder of L'Arche Federation for the uh, Mentally Handicapped Adults, uh, brought it back to Canada from France where he was living and working. And uh, even before it got translated into English, people were singing it like a rave hymn, Catholic groups of young people. <laughs> 